Hey guys, Next Chindel here, and today I just wanted to bring you guys a quick update on what Zer has for the weekend of February 19th. As you can see, we're in the Winding Cove on the European Dead Zone, so getting right into what he's got in his inventory, you can see that he has the Crimson up for sale for a weapon, awesome PvE, PvP exotic. This is great because if you're good shot, you can get benefited by having your gun automatically reload, and just based off of uh, kills, it reacts like Red Death from Destiny 1, and it will heal you upon kills. So, getting right into armor. We have Stompy starting off. If you're a Hunter main, definitely don't skip out on these if you don't have them. Overall, base 63 stat roll is really good. Unfortunately, you don't have a lot in recovery, so this probably won't be a PvP pair of Stompies, but it'll be great for PvE. So getting right into the Titan exotic, we have a 63 base stat roll pair of Ursa Ferosa. This is really good exotic for Banner Shield Titan mains who like to generate their super a buttload. Also awesome for Grandmaster or Deal Nightfalls. When those come around for the season, I'd highly advise picking this up. It's got a great stat distribution and everything like that. So this is probably going to be my number one pick for the weekend personally, but getting last into it, we have the Warlock exotic armor for the weekend, Chromatic Fire with a base stat roll of 65. Zer's got a cracked out inventory this weekend, guys. If you have, uh, you know, find yourself with a few hundred extra legendary shards and you don't have these exotics, I probably wouldn't honestly skip out on any of them just because of their stat rolls alone and they're three pretty viable exotics chromatic fire probably being the most underwhelming of the three but definitely solid one other thing that i actually wanted to talk to you guys about was the exotic weapon and armor loot pool for the world and what i mean by that is when you do nightfalls and stuff like that and just complete activities and you get an exotic that is technically qualified as a world drop because you're getting it from an open world loot source and I just wanted to update you guys that the exotic armor pieces that were released in Beyond Light, including Icefall Mantle, Precious Scars for the Titan, Mask of Bacchus, and Amethyr's Embrace for the Hunter, Dawn Chorus, and Necrotic Grip for the Warlock are all in the exotic loot pool. So if you guys aren't fans of farming the exotic, or if, yeah, so if you guys aren't fans of farming the exotics from the Legend and Master Lost Sectors, then you actually have a chance of obtaining them via the, uh, the world loop pool now so i just wanted to give you guys a heads up about that in case maybe you didn't know so i just wanted to wish you guys good luck farming this weekend or whatever you might be doing whether that be trials raids or whatever the case may be and i hope that zir has some good stuff for you guys this weekend and i'll catch you in the next video have a good one until then